guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on how to cover redness on the face. Whether you've got redness from pimples or sunburn or even eczema, which is my case, I'll show you how to cover it up with colour correcting. I don't know everything about colour correcting, this is just what I've learnt from my makeup course, but this stuff seems to work for me, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. So if this is something that you'd be interested in knowing, then just keep on watching. Okay, I don't know how bad you can see it on camera, but I have eczema everywhere. I don't get pimples much and I don't have much redness in my face, but right now I've got eczema everywhere. It's get it really bad in winter when it's really dry and my skin just goes crazy and gets it everywhere. You might not be able to see it as well on camera but I assure you that it's everywhere. What I've been using on my face lately is this hemp body butter from the body shop. And I know this is body butter but my face has been that dry lately that this is all that actually works. Another moisturiser I also use is the Sukin Sensitive Facial Moisturiser and I haven't got that here with me because it's on the other side of my room and I don't want to get up and get it. That one's good if your skin isn't severely dry like mine is right now. So I've already moisturised my face and let that sink in for about 10 minutes. Next step is to prime your face with a moisturising primer and today I'm going to be using the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Another good alternative to that one is the Face of Australia Face Base Primer and if you watch my videos you know I use this like every time. But we'll be using this today and just spread that all over the face. This is just what I do, I'm not an expert or anything but this is just what works for me and my super dry skin. Next thing I do is using a smoothing primer and I put that all over my T-zone and like on my cheeks. Life. This just kind of smooths out the skin's texture. I find that I can put this over my eczema, but I don't know, it's really personal preference. And also you can put this over blemishes just to smooth them down a bit if you're comfortable doing that. Okay, so my face is all primed and next I'm going to go in with my Ben Nye Media Pro Concealer Palette. And this palette I just got from my makeup course, it was something we needed in our kit. And it just looks like that. This is just going to be on colour correcting in general as well, especially redness. I'm going to start off with colour correcting under my eyes, like to get rid of the dark circles. And I mixed this colour and this colour, just to make an orangey peachy colour. I just mix them with my finger, because I'm the only one that uses this palette anyway. Applying that right in the inner corner of the eye and underneath. Focusing it right in there, because that especially gets dark for me. And then bring it out. I'm also going a bit on my eyelid too. And again, on the inner corner right there. And that's the orange done. You use peachy orangey colours underneath the eyes because that counteracts the purpley blue colours that you naturally have under your eyes. So it cancels it out. Next colour I'm going to go in with is this greeny colour here. It's not particularly green, but this is as green as I can get. If you're looking for a drugstore alternative to this palette, I know Astralis has a little one with purple and green and some other colours in there. But there's four colours and I used to use that one, but I ran out. Another alternative to that palette is these coloured lipsticks. And these are from NYX, they're the Macaroon lipsticks. But they work just as well. You can just use them how you would use this. So I'm taking that green colour on a little fluffy brush, I don't know what it's called, and put that right on top of all the redness you want to cover up. Now just kind of dab that on top. You can use your fingers for this, but I prefer to use a brush. Okay, so that's the green done. And blend that out a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, 
Next is a step I don't do too often. I'm just going to do it for video's sake. I don't have a purple concealer, so I'm just going to use a like lavender lipstick. And just put that on this like yellowy discolored parts. Which I just have around my mouth. God, blend that in. I look crazy right now. Okay, now that you look like a crazy person, it's time to go on foundation. And I'm just going to use my Chi Chi BB cream. Just because it's nice and dewy and it won't stick to dry patches on my face. I'm just going to dot that around my face as usual. It'll cover up all that crazy colours. I forgot to mention that we use green on blemishes or eczema or whatever because it's red and the opposite colour to red on the colour wheel is green. And the same with orange and blue and the same with purple and yellow. If you want to cancel out something, look at the opposite colour of it on the colour wheel and go in with whatever colour that is. I like to pat my foundation on top of the parts where there's coloured concealer just so it's not really mixing it around, it's more just like patting on top of it. It's just my theory. And I'm just going to go over that with a beauty blender just to get rid of excess product. See how all that's covered up now? Now I'm just concealing as usual with my MAC Perlomer Concealer and this is obviously a lighter colour than my skin tone so it highlights a bit. I'm blending that out. And the last step is to set all that in place. Right. I'm slightly setting the rest of my face with that same powder. <coughs> Just to lock it all in place. And that's it. And that's how I... What do I do? Color correct. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and then come back. So that's how I color correct and conceal. I hope you found this video interesting and you learned something new. Because I know there's not a lot of colour correcting videos out there, so people may not know. Anyway, I make new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, so keep an eye out for them. And I'll see you next time. Bye!